Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our locomotive. As you guys can see right here, we have a tender, we have our logo, uh, we have the other logo right here as well, and we have a number on the side. What I want to do today is try and add some detail to the inside, make the inside look a little bit better, we're going to add some lights. We're also going to actually try and work on making this bit look a little bit better too on the tender, and maybe even make this bit look a little bit better as well. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Bam! Alright, let's go! Run! Run, run, run! Yes! Okay, so, we're gonna go ahead and load up the locomotive first, and we're gonna try and do some stuff with that. So, here it is. What do we want to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> let's get to the inside and try and figure that out. So, uh, one of the first things that I do actually want to do, um, if possible, is add a control surface uh, to the side of this. Now, it's gonna have to be a small one, but essentially it's gonna have to go about there. Alright, we're gonna then put it on the other side too, and then spawn that in and see what that looks like. It might look very weird, but it might actually fit. I know it looks a little bit strange with that bit, but I think that's okay. Alright, cool. So we're gonna leave that just like that. Good. Alright, what is the next thing that we want to do then? Uh, lights. Okay, so in some of our previous builds, uh, the lights that we've done have actually been dangling. Now, honestly, I kind of like the idea of that, but we're not going to do that on this train. So, we're going to grab a pipe. In fact, we're going to grab this color first. We're then going to grab a pipe, like this one. And we're going to go ahead and put that on the roof, uh, like this. There you go. And we're going to angle it downwards. There, just like that. And the same on the other side, just like this. And we're going to put a light just on there. Okay, this uh, this should be fine. Okay, lights, camera, action. All right, put that there like that. Actually, let's make it, I don't know, white for now. Let's make that white and do this bit as well and attach them together using a pipe again. Yeah. All right, straight pipe. Here we go. So whack that on there. So what we're going to do then is we're going to color this a uh, different color, actually. Now that I've thought about it, we're going to actually make them gray. There we go. All the way around the sides, all the way around the top. There we go, and that is all of it done, except that piece, and that piece. We need to do this all on both sides, it'd be easier that way. Um, and then we're going to make the actual color of the light itself brown. There we go, okay, so that is actually brown. It works, cool. Um, now that we've done that then, we need loads of other stuff in here. Like, like loads of other stuff. Um, I don't really know what would be best though, you know? Like, what happens if I put some of these in? Is that strange? It's a little bit strange, but it also somewhat fits in there. We're going to delete this guy, and we're actually just going to go ahead and plop that on there. There we go. They're very weird. <laughs> They're very, very weird, but I can't like the idea of having them. So I'll leave those in there. Um, the seats, should we have them sideways? I think we should. Let's go ahead and move them forwards, though. So grab those and those, cut them, uh, move them forwards to about there, paste them in, merge them together, and there we go. Okay, nice. It's not actually too bad. It's not terrible. All right, paint this the right color. There we go. Awesome. Uh, what else do we need to do? I don't really know what would go inside a steam locomotive. I, I really don't. Um, especially with how big this cab is. I don't think much needs to actually go back here, but let's do it anyway. So, um, we need a fire extinguisher. That is actually kind of very important. Let's go and attach that into there. A first aid kit on top of the fire extinguisher. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on top of that. There we go. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, what else is necessary? Small fuel boosters. Let's go ahead and whack those in. Right there. They look a little bit strange, but we can do them. And then whack that on top. Bop. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to actually do another few of these right here as well. And we're going to whack it in that way. There we go. Looks a little bit strange, but it works. Um, right, okay. So we got the lights in. We got the first aid kits in. We've got the fire extinguishers in there. Um, a welder? I guess welders would be pretty important. So we're going to go ahead and put that on this side. And do this. There we go. Okay. We're doing it on both sides. I think that is actually fine. Um, the other thing is... A door that slid open right here would be really cool. Uh, but maybe we want an actual, like... I don't know. Doors that open sideways? Or maybe we can just actually just block this off. A little bit. And maybe that'll be nicer. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it like that, as if the doors are open. I think that's fine. Okay, so, uh, we're going to go and do that right there. 
We're going to paint the tops of these guys like this, and also the sides of this like so. And that looks pretty good, to be fair. I think that's fine. Um, the dial situation? What is this? This is boiler temp. There we go. Boiler temperature. Excellent. We're going to delete this, this, and we're going to paint all the interior of this. There we go. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Valve? Okay, we want a manual valve. There we go. They won't currently do anything, but obviously we want one. Yeah. <laughs> They won't do anything, but we want one. So there we go. Let's spawn this in, have a little look inside, and see what we think. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. These look a little bit strange up there, but I don't mind them. I don't mind that at all. Okay, cool. Go back in. Go back in. So, um, pipes would actually not look too out of place up here. So let's go ahead and paint these in, like this, and like this, and like that. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side, actually. And paint all of these and all of those. There we go. Pipe Rooney. So, uh, we will make the pipes this color because I think that color is actually really nice. We're going to go ahead and shove it in there like this. And same on the other side like this. There we go. I think we'll also actually make it look like it does something. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, let's go ahead and whack this on here and whack this on here like this. And yes, it now looks like it sort of does something. Excellent. Yeah, that works. All right, good. So all the dials that we've got in here are completely fine. Our speed is in meters per second. Um, our firebox temperature is okay. Boiler water, yes. Everything in there is fine. Uh, a whistle. A whistle would be good. I don't currently have one of those anywhere on the train. So a whistle would be excellent, and I feel like it should go there. Is that about right? Just behind the, the funnel? I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and delete this. Get ourselves another button. What kind of button is this? What kind of button are you? It's a toggle button. Okay, this is going to be for light. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Those lights and also this light at the front. I shall, I'll name it lights instead, shall I? Lights. There we go. Okay, good. So now that we've done that, that's all good. Let's go ahead and delete this guy right here. Get ourselves an air thingamabobby. What are they? Where is it? <laughs> Where are they? What is it? Is it a port? I don't know what it's called. This thing. That's what I wanted. And we're going to go and shove that on the floor there. But unfortunately, it's not about the right size. It's not even the right size. It's not the right size. But if I delete all these, I can put it there. And I can put it here. Ooh, yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. I also don't mind the fact that it's like very gray at the front and not very gray at the back. That is fine by me. Although, having two of those would be really cool. It would. It'd be awesome. Uh, I might do the same thing here, but sideways, if I can. Uh, and also in this color instead. Yeah, okay, in the lighter gray. Is this going to look good, or is it going to look awful? Oh, it doesn't actually fit. <laughs> it, it doesn't even fit. All right, do that, that, and that. There we go. And paint the back end just like this. There we go. Okay, nice. It's starting to come together a little bit. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. We'll make it night time. And we'll turn the lights on and we'll see what the lights look like. I don't even know what color the front light is. It looks like it's working. And then the lights on the insides, they're quite dark, but it works. Yeah, okay. It's still very minimalistic in there, though. We need more stuff. You know what I mean? We just need more stuff. So, um, what I'm thinking we do is we delete the whole floor. And we delete the whole floor all the way back to there. We get ourselves some paint blocks. Okay. And we'll shove them all in here. One, two, three, four, five. There's loads. There is absolutely millions of these. But there you go. So we're going to put all of these in. All the way sideways. Yes. Even these ones. There we go. Even these ones. All the way down. For some reason I'm not putting them on both sides. It could have been way quicker, but it wasn't, so never mind. Uh, and then essentially what we're going to do is replace the color of the dark one with this. And then the light one is going to be replaced with this. And that's going to be our floor. So I'm going to quickly run through all of these. Um, and, and make a checkerboard floor. It might look very ugly, but it also might look fine. I'm unsure. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that, actually. Because... Whether we keep this or whether we don't keep this is kind of down to you guys. 
uh, at home. At home. Also, side note, um, what kind of color should we actually have the locomotive? Because I've gone for red right now, but I'm thinking we'll have multiple different types of locomotive, all of the same class, if that makes sense. So we can actually have like purple ones, we can have green ones, we can have blue ones, uh, and all the stuff like that would actually look really cool, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below uh, what color this train should be, or you think this train should be, I should say. Because um, I might change it, I might not change it, it might stay the same, it might not stay the same, uh, I don't know. Also, another idea that I've had is we'll actually add some ribbons to the side at the front. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second, uh, but I just need to paint all of these in first. It's taking some time, and uh, that's okay, right? You guys like you, you guys like watching some things that look painful to do? I think so. All right, here we go. Bosh, 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 and there we go. Okay, cool. So what I mean by the ribbons is we'll actually go to the front of each one of these and paint it. I was going to say white, but actually probably gray, but we're going to go with white for now. There we go. Uh, white strip right there. I don't know whether to do it every one or every one of these. I'm actually not sure what, what way to do this. Uh, but I'm doing it every bright red. So I think that makes some sort of sense at the minute. But it might be wrong. I don't know. Uh, and that's the end of the bright reds. Okay, so then what we do is we change the color of this guy. Change the color of that guy. Change the color of this guy. Uh, not that one. This one, there we go. Do the same on the other side. And hopefully we're all good. I think it'll be fine. There we go. Okay, so spawn this in. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. I think it looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so go to the inside. What does the floor look like with the checkered pattern? Oh, it's a little bit off, but actually I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. It looks like it's gridded. That's quite cool. Um, yeah, okay. Everything still works in here. Let's turn the lights on. Make sure they still work. Yes. I think that's fine. I do. I actually think that's fine. So, let's go ahead and save this. Okay. And then we'll load up the other one. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Idea. I have an idea. We're going to just go ahead and grab this from there. All the way to there. Go ahead and copy it. And we're going to put this on the tender as well. Because I feel like the tender sort of needs it. Because at the minute it's quite ugly. You know? Let's go this way. Paste it. There we go. Nice. Paste it again. And, oh, this is going to mess things up, actually. Hang on. Undo, undo, undo. Bring this this way. Paste it there. Excellent. Bring it across. Paste it again. Bring it across. Paste it again. And we can do it over and over and over again all the way around here. So do this one, this one, and this one. There we go. Awesome. And do the other ones, too. And we should be good to go from there, I think. So this one and this one. There we go. All right. Merge these together. That one and that one. That one and that one, 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 and this. There we go. Okay. Um, we also actually need to put coal inside of here, but we don't we don't want to do that just yet. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Um let's delete this. Get ourselves a hatch real quickly. There we go. And we're gonna bring this forwards one. Well, I kinda want to anyway. Hang on. Do this right here. Do this right here. And put it like this. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Okay, put that there. And we'll do this too. That doesn't actually look too bad. I think it works. We're also going to put some fire extinguishers on here as well. Because I feel like we should. And that'll be a-okay. Here we go. Fire extinguishers. Also, uh, hoses. Because I think that'd be nice. And then we'll just do this across here. There we go. What do we think of that? What do we think of that? I think it works. So, if we save this also... Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on one second. We're going to grab it from here. Uh, from there, all the way to here. Go ahead and copy it. Move it backwards. We're going to do the same thing on the rear. Because I feel like we should. So, oh, hang on. Do that there. And then do it here. Uh, I think that's right. Okay. Merge this with this. Merge this with this. Save it. Uh, just like so. Yes. And let's go put it outside and see what we think of it. Also, I feel like the tender should have a light. But maybe not. No, it should. It should. It should. All right, that's the that's the one thing that I really want, actually. Uh, let's get ourselves a pipe, really quickly, do, 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 do. just like so. Uh, get ourselves a light, and it is actually just going to go directly on there. A little bit strange, I know, but it's fine. Uh, and we're going to change the color of that to be brown, also. 
There we go. All right, I think that's fine. I think that is fine. A button, I guess, to turn the light on. Actually, actually, if we connect this down to there, I guess the light will automatically come on when it's connected. Uh, and I think that's probably fine for now. So save this as this. There we go. And let's go ahead and attach them together outside. You guys won't be able to see this. I'm sorry, but it's fine. Here we go. Bosh that out there. And then finally this one. Uh, this one. There we go. Spawn it in. What do we think of this? So the light automatically turns on out here. You guys might not be able to see anything, actually. I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, and then we want that light on as well. Hang on. All right, so this is what it looks like. Yeah, okay, this works. This totally works. All right, make it daytime so we can actually see what's going on. And there we go. Nice. I'm actually really happy with this locomotive. Uh, I like the white stripes around the outside. I like the checkerboard pattern. I think they're really cool. We can go to the inside if we need to. We need to add coal and water into this thing, uh, and that'd be fine. These guys also look pretty nice there as well. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm actually really happy with this. Anyway, for right now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.